after you've ensured that the memory isolation is off, and you can do that again by typing core, by clicking the Windows icon, typing core, and going to core isolation. Let's verify that it's off. See, they're off. So we're ready to install the Fluke software and drivers. That can be done on the included USB stick. So the first thing is we're going to install the PowerLog Classic setup version 4.6. Again, this is only a Windows application. You must use Windows. So we'll install that and it's going to take a half a minute or so to do that. There we go. It might be faster if you copy the program to your hard drive as opposed to running off the USB stick. Either way is fine. So we're going to go ahead and install it. Uh, next. And it's fine. Install. Uh, yeah, sure. Desktop. Uh, quit, whatever. And then we don't want to register because you don't need to do that. Finish. Okay. Now that the program itself is set up, we need to install the drivers. So we're going to go to the Fluke 1735 underscore 345 drivers. This is going to install the drivers that allow your computer to, to communicate over the USB to the Fluke 1735. So we're going to run that. Yes. Uh, next. And it's finished installing those drivers. So at this point, the drivers are installed. Okay, so let's go ahead and open <coughs> Device Manager. So you can go to Device Manager. This has got all the things uh, here. So we're going to look at ports is where we're going to want to look. At this point, we're going to go ahead and take and wire the USB into our computer and then into the Fluke uh, 1735. In the back, there's a USB interface. Do that carefully that we don't break the cable or the connector. And you'll see that the Fluke 1735 pops up under COM ports and also under the USB controller here, F1735. As long as you can see that and there's no errors there, it's working properly. If you see any errors there, will be a red exclamation or a yellow triangle, then something went wrong with the driver and you cannot proceed on to the next step. So the next step at this point will be to actually to run the Power Log Classic app. And we'll go ahead and run that. Okay. And then here you can see the COM ports. The COM port should be listed as the Fluke 1735. If not, you could go into Device Manager and see that this is COM4, but it really should pop up under the correct name, not the COM number. Once you're doing that, we're going to turn, we're going to go to the Fluke device and turn this, the rotary switch from off onto meter. That way that's on, and then we're going to click download. And that's going to take a little bit of time to download the previous data. Um, I think the device wasn't fully on when I did that. Let's go ahead and try that again. The device has been on for a, a bit. We'll come take a look, suit you. Suit there you. we go. It does take a little bit of time to download the data. Make sure you do not turn off the Fluke 1735 or let it lose power when you're downloading the data. Okay, this data has been downloaded. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a file save as and then we're going to choose wherever you're going to want to save this at. Um, uh, here we're going to save it under the uh, power logger and then we're going to save this. Now in this here I would like you to put the date and then maybe your organization name. Okay, 
and if you want you can include the start time and that would be the date so let's say uh, let's see I started on the 20th and then end I should be able to get this data from the recording because the recording does include data however it's still good to include this um, there and then if you know times too it'd be good to put times in here or at least approximate uh, uh, time okay let's go ahead and save that data uh, we can't use these little uh, things here so we'll just uh, do close enough All right, so now the data has been saved off of the fluke and we can close this. You can add, sure you're free to analyze this data by using this and you can read the manual for the power program which is included on this USB stick if you wanna look at some of these uh, statistics and, and see how things are going. There's a lot of information here. But if you email this to Off Grid Tech as quick as you can, we're gonna take and look at the data and um, try to make sure that it's connected properly and at that point, uh, you can continue gathering more and more data. So since you've downloaded the data, you can return, return the Fluke 1735 to where you were logging data and record more data at this point. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna close this program and we're even gonna turn off the, the Fluke and then we're gonna disconnect it. And you'll see it'll go away in the uh, device manager there as well. Okay, we're gonna, the next video will be on how to remove the, the driver and the software and to re-enable your uh, memory integrity.